Okay everyone, welcome to the video today. We are going to be spectating some top rank gameplay here. Mostly focusing on the Urshifu, but we also do have T2 Hibachi in this game on the Absol. So 100% we'll be taking a look at some of their gameplay as well. But yeah, hopefully this is okay to do this. Uh, if not, please uh, let someone someone let me know. But um, yeah, so straight on to the Urshifu here. He's going to have a bit of a problem trying to stack with this Lucario potentially, but pushing forward gets the four in, the lovely stuff. We should have the stack counter in the game now. Both berries have been stolen by the Urshu, and he's even going to try and take a couple of these uh, Bunnelbees off the Lucario. The cheek of it, he gets another two in. That is two stacks. Couldn't quite get that, but look at the focus band coming in clutch. Every all rounder should have it on. Absolutely OP. Gets you out of so many situations had to back up there this is the only problem with the level 5 evolution i feel like they did give azumarill the level 4 because Mara was absolutely useless i feel like but uh still pretty useless but definitely helps with the level 4 and uh azumarill is definitely viable now the abachi coming down here to help on the absol Just needs one more bit of farm to get that Urshifu. And then we want to see some of that wicked blow. There we go. Level 5. Took a while to evolve there, but here we go. Let's see what it can do. Should get another 4 in here pretty easily. That's 4 or 5 stacks now. Can't steal the farm this time, that is unfortunate. And there's that focus band again, doing the work. Not a wicked blow doing half of the uh, Indeedee's health there. That certainly is going to be powerful, I think. Look at the damage on that wicked blow. So powerful. I feel like that's just going to be such a good secure move. Look at the damage on that. Also, if you get it all in the hit marker, all this farm. You could probably do a mass secure, like look at that. Three of these Swablus all at once, secured and an easy level seven. Urshifu rotating top for the Regilecki. Gets intercepted by a Greedent, but no problem. Nice to still see Serena getting some play after the uh, recent nerfs. I suppose Triple Axel did not get nerfed, so Triple Axe or Grassy Glide is still be a good move set, but uh, maybe with those nerfs, it's definitely not going to be as good as it was before. Unless you thought what Urshifu can do here, then I think the most I've seen so far is Urshifu doing 2,400 points of damage with a single wicked blow. And if you think most speedsters have like around 5,000 HP, that's almost half a speedster's health in one blow. Absolutely insane. Any speedsters do not get caught by an Urshifu Wicked Blow, that would do some serious damage. There was a hit there on that Regilecki, so much damage. I wanted to see a Wicked Blow on that Zorok. The only thing I worry about a Wicked Blow is it could be quite easy to dodge. Oh, a fight breaking out down here. T2 Hibachi is in there. It does go down and the blue team do manage to push them back on that occasion but the bottom point is on four look at that damage there we caught that wicked blow just in time over half of the zorox health there and you think the uh zorok had a two level advantage there or something like that absolutely insane damage Nice to see an all-rounder with another secure move. Obviously, we've got Power Up Punch, Lucario, Sacred Sword, Aegislash, Slash, Wicked Blow, Urshifu now joining the roster. It's going to be a good mod, I think. Oh, it's a court in the Serena Unite there. Unite's all over the place. Big fight breaking out there. The red team has done it. It's, just, it's quite a good combo, both sides of the... Uh, there, two all-rounders on the red side, and two on the blue side actually, and two defenders on each side. 
We've got Mamo and Snorlax on the red side, and Greedon and Lucario. Sorry, Greedon and Snorlax on the blue side. Is this going to be the new meta? Double, double defender, double all rounder. Not a supporter in sight. Urshifu does go down there, and the blue team are absolutely shredding this. Triple Axel Serena looking pretty good, you know. Because that AoE damage, you can't really go wrong. Everyone's starting to gather out the bot lane, bit of a fight breaking out there. Looks like the red team's come out on top of that one as well. Azumarill going mad. Level 14 Azumarill by this point. Must have been doing some serious work. Probably can get 15 actually before the uh, Rayquaza fight. Urshifu nearly level 12. Twenty-five seconds to go till the big Quasa fight. T2 for Bachi there with thirteen and a half. Is there enough farmer up on the map to get fourteen? They might leave it for the Azumarill to get fifteen. Yeah, looks to be that way. These are the moments I'm interested in. In these, uh, obviously, with my own five stack team, looking at what like these top players do in these situations. Like obviously. We saw Hibachi there throwing the Psycho Cut into that bush to see if there's any opponents just like lurking in there to catch him up. And the coverage on the map from the red side is just... Obviously they're starting to tap it, trying to draw in the opponents and there's a fight breaking out there. Here we go. Hibachi starting to come up now, now there's some damage going down. Wants to come in and catch some people out. There's the Unite. Three down from the blue side, just Lucario and Snorlax up. Only the Mamo swine down on the red side, they can start it. Snorlax very low as well on the blue side. The Rayquaza down to halfway. And there's the secure from the Night Slash on the Absol. Absolutely insane. And now the points are going to start raining in. 100 from Azuma, 100 from Absol, 100 from Snorlax. And that just shows the sheer damage that Absol can still put out. Still one of my favourite ones, I think, and there is a surrender there. Yeah, so let's conclude Urshifu looks pretty good. It's nice to see Absol getting some play, and even Serena as well after the nerfs. Azumarill popping off. 126k from the Azumarill. Yeah, Azumarill is one of the best mons in the game right now I think but some very good comps there things to look at double defender double all-rounder double all-rounder is my favorite comp I think but, um, yeah not a support in sight quite insane good to see no Sableye or mime for a change I hope you guys enjoyed that there's a bit of gameplay from uh, top ranked matches at the moment just on the spectate mode obviously if it's, this isn't okay to do so please do let me know in the comments and I won't do this anymore but um, no it's really good for me to see for my own team pick up some tips obviously we saw her actually there lurking in that bottom bush checking it the psycho cut first it's really good to get these little details that you might not know about uh, for your own five stack team so um, yeah thanks very much for watching everyone to conclude wicked blow Urshifu it looks absolutely insane we saw a double defender and a double all-rounder comp on both sides with a shredder like a Zorok or an Absol. Looks uh, quite an interesting meta we're starting to go into. So uh, yeah, if you've enjoyed the video, please do uh, give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and uh, stick a comment down below what you think. I'd love to do some more of these. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one.